I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth Q&A and it has been a long time. Uh, for those of you that watch my videos, um, my most recent ones, which aren't that recent, uh, you'll know that I uh, moved house recently, so um, this is why I've got the webcam on. I don't normally have the webcam on for the Q&A, but you will see that I have my beautifully new design studio. I've moved house. I've moved all the way across the country, um, and I have made myself a little studio. So I've got all my nice soundproofed walls. Um, I've got my new microphone as well, which is kind of dangling down. There we go, it's dangling a bit more. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but this sounds a lot better to me. Hopefully it sounds a lot better for you. Um, the, the, the soundproofing, definitely a good investment. I mean, even, even if it doesn't sound better for you guys, it's so warm so warm in here but yeah um kind of in now so able to start making videos again not quite as many as i used to make um because i used to have wednesdays off and i don't don't have those wednesdays anymore um but hopefully you should start to see quite a lot of uh, videos coming out from me again now um i've got a lot of ideas for new series i want to do um, some of which will come over in, in in some of these questions. But, yeah, I've got a lot of questions. I've been trying to answer most of them kind of in the comments um, just because I know I haven't been around and I haven't been able to answer these questions for you. Um, so sorry about that. It, it it took me a lot longer to move than I thought. And uh, we've had to do decorating. We've had to kind of paint all the house. Um, we've got some problem with damp that we knew about before we moved in, which uh, we kind of... It was part of the, the, the buying negotiations, but um, that still needs sorting. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do in the house, basically. Um, it's our first house we've ever bought, so, uh, yeah, taken a lot longer than we ever expected. But uh, in now, got the studio all done, and that's what's important, because now I can start releasing new videos to you guys. Um, so enough chat, let's get on with your questions. So first one from... Uh, Kevin Van Lanker um, and I don't know if this question has been proposed before but I think it's an important one uh, could you make a few videos devoted to debugging in VBA go over the tools and share us your insights into using them you have a talent for explaining things clearly thank you very much while doing them and I think this would be a valuable addition to what you already have available so yes this is one of the new series I want to look at um, I want to have one episode at the start, which it just goes over the kind of basic debugging tools. Uh, and then I want to have an episode for each error you know, it, that, that comes up in your VBA. Uh, so I'll go through, I'll try and reproduce them, uh, and I'll explain when you're likely to see them. So I imagine most of the people that use them will kind of search for that particular error and then come across the videos. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I am definitely going to be doing them. Um, thank you for kind of the suggestion. That's really good. Uh, I, I love hearing from you guys what type of videos you like would like me to produce. So keep them coming in and uh, I'll definitely give you a shout out if you if you give me a good example for a series. So the next question is from Carolis Griskeficus. Sorry if I can't say that properly. I'm really bad at pronouncing names and I'm conscious that I've got a huge audience from around the world and I can't say anybody's names and it's really bad. Don't hate me for it, please. Um, but hello, can you tell me how to make loop which output would be one, two, two, three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 and so on. Thanks. Yes, I most certainly can. So let's just swap onto a new sheet. Uh, called sheet free and hopefully this time we'll get it right uh, I've just had to kind of delete what I've just done because it's been so long since I've done anything and I've kind of almost forgotten how to do it but let's just create ourselves a sub procedure so loopy loop um, it doesn't matter what you call it you're probably going to put it in your code somewhere but first of all we want to create a variable variable called my string which will hold in our variable and we want that to be as a string uh, and then we're going to need kind of an embedded for loop. And the first one's just going to be, say, x equals 1, 2, 
10. So it's going to go through, and that's just going to count us through our rows. Uh, so we're going to fill in these 10 rows uh, and with the value of my string. So at the end of it, we're just going to put this workbook dot sheet sheet free dot cells dot value and we need to put in the reference to the cells first so x comma one dot value and uh, so that is at the moment isn't going to do anything because we haven't actually given it anything so we just make that equal to my string uh, up here, we just want to make my string equals to nothing, so it resets itself each time. Uh, and then we're just going to do our next for loop, so for i equals 1 to x. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to do 10 loops, and then with each one of the 10 loops, it's going to do this loop, which is going to loop an amount of times equal to which iteration of the loop it is. And woo, that was a mouthful. So it's going to do one loop, two loops, three loops, four loops, so on and so forth. Uh, and then in here, we just want to make my string equals ampers, uh, my string ampersand, and then we want to put in x. And the reason we want to put it in x is because you said you wanted to go one, two, three, four as well. So that will make it go up by one each time again. And, and a lot about what you do with this kind of stuff is about reusing your your thing. So you see we're using that counter to count this iteration of this loop, so making sure this is going up by one each time. We're doing it for this bit, making sure this goes up by one each time, and we're using it for the row as well, making sure that goes up by one each time. Uh, so now when we press play and we jump across into here, you can see that we've done exactly what we wanted to do, apart from the fact that this number is going to show it as crazy so we need to change that to text no it just doesn't want to do it just because 10 is too much and it's it doesn't really like it too big for the cell but that gives you an idea so hopefully that answers your question uh, any more feel free to drop them below uh in the old down low anyway i'll just leave that there for a second pause if you want to copy it uh there you go so Right, so moving on to the next question. I'm not going to answer all of these, these ep this episode. I'm only going to do these three because I'm conscious that we're already getting on a bit with time. So, uh, hi, my name is Tiana. Hi, Tiana. Uh, Tiana Procon. Uh, I'm a math major, but I've just taken on a CS minor. I don't know what CS minor means. Um, but Oh, computer science, okay. Uh, I've been teaching myself programming. So far, I've been teaching myself uh, C hash, which is a weird place to begin. Yes, it is. But I seem to be doing fine with it. So that's good to hear. Uh, my question to you is about VBA. Uh, since I know very little about programming, I've tried Googling videos on what exactly it can be used for. Uh, all I can find is VBA for Excel, which I'm not surprised at. Uh, I have yet to find a good, solid YouTube video explaining clear to me what VBA is significant for, or it has uses other than with Excel. Maybe I'm just not looking the right places. I'm asking you because I've been watching your tutorials and they're very helpful, but my understanding will be clear if I know the applications for the things I'm learning. Thanks. So this is a really good question, actually, and uh, hopefully I can give a good answer in return. So VBA sits behind all of your Microsoft Office products. So Word, Excel, Outlook, Access, PowerPoint, um, and it, it's the the basis of how you work with them all together, and it's one of the most powerful things about the Microsoft Office package. Um, there is also something called uh, VB Scripts, which is similar, but it's not quite the same. It's um, you can kind of run it like Bash code. It's I'm probably going to do a series on it at some point. Um, but not many people use that um, because it's a little bit not very friendly. Um, there's also there's a you can do standalone um, applications in VB. So the user forms are using Excel. You can kind of create your own outside in VB. Uh, if you download uh, VB Express, then that's I think it's VB Express. Then you're able to do that. Um, it's something that I've never used because I've always used. 
and links into Excel and Microsoft Access a lot more uh, rather than creating standalone applications. Uh, but I know it is something you can do. Um, the main thing it's used for is tactical solutions to problems. And by tactical, I mean kind of quick and dirty. And, and that's not how I, that's not really how I want to describe it. But it's normally, if you're writing a program, uh, you don't use VBA, you use kind of PHP or Java or uh, C++ or, or pretty much anything else. But that's only because they're better. Now, VBA is a lot quicker and it's a lot easier to understand. Um, and you can kind of bash out a system used by kind of a thousand people in a week. Um, I've had a couple that, you know, I've, I've spent a couple of weeks doing and then people have used them for a couple of years afterwards uh, with hundreds of users. So it's very easy to do them quickly. And for that reason, um, a lot of... Uh, people in my industry, which is the finance industry, industry, use VBA because you can very quickly create things and you can very quickly analyze data and stuff using it. And it can, for for a very little amount of input, you can get quite a big increase in your efficiency. So, especially if you're already using Excel, it's very useful and can help you do things that's, that you wouldn't normally be able, be able to do without creating a whole fully blown kind of application in Java and something, which is people don't have time to do uh, or people don't really want to learn it. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not the most efficient code, but my God, it is one of the easiest and fastest to use. So... Uh, hopefully that answers your question a bit. Um, and I'm really intrigued to the next question. I just start reading it about chicken salads. But we'll do that in the next episode. Um, so thanks for listening, everybody. If you're excited that I'm back and excited for the, the videos to come, then please please leave a like on the video. Uh, and if you haven't already, uh, head on the head on down there and uh, hit subscribe. Uh, and if you have your own questions or if you have your own comments or if you want to me to to think about doing some new series now that I'm back. Um, I'm pretty excited at the moment, so this is the best time to suggest new series to me because I'll, I'll get inspired by them. So, uh, any comments in the in the, uh, in the description below, I read all, I read all everyone's comments. Uh, it's getting a bit harder now that they've got quite a few. Oh, that's the other thing that since I've been off, I've hit over fifteen thousand subscribers. Fifteen thousand of you guys. So thank you very much for that. It feels really good. Um, to uh, kind of finally be starting to get popular. We're getting around about kind of 5,000 hits a day. We've gone over 2 million views. Oh, I, mean, I know you guys won't be as excited as I am, but uh, yeah, I, I really appreciate it. It's I'm going all cliche now, but um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Um, and I wouldn't be doing this without all of you watching me. So cheers. Anyway, I will catch you in the next...